Hopes Beneath Uncertainty by Hitoshi Chakma. Again, Jumma's got the terrifying terror alarms. Dingoes and hyenas are out for hunts. Got the alert, all to run, just for life, not for fun. In the pouring rain, it's getting dark. Jumma's are tired of this, but scared. Still they are running fast toward an unknown destiny. But no destination in such a dreadful journey. It is very common here. Often happens unplanned. To Jumma's, such a savage, unpleasant event. Little kids too running fast for their lives, leaving their dreams behind with all memories. Jummas are running for lives with no promises of securities, leaving behind a life worth of wealth and prosperities. Elders are running with burden of age, still want to live a few more days. Their homeland on fire, untamed dingoes are everywhere. Sweet homes are not safe. Running toward the unknown is their only choice. Even Almighty is undone before those hyenas and inhuman. Thus, Jumma's looking for securities in dark jungle among wild animals. Infant and toddler being carried by parents. Lucky kid also got to hold someone's hand. No food and drinks. Hungry babies are crying. A caring toddler whispering shush baby. Two-legged hyenas will be coming. No umbrella, no raincoat. No shelter or warm clothes. Under a wet tree very quietly. Resting even a hungry baby for the moment. A bit of rest seems quite a luxury. Waiting for sun to rise, praying to stop the rain, hoping for the miracle to end all Chittagong Hill Trek's problems. But brave dad went back despite knowing the danger. The chance was taken to starve off their hunger. Although their life could be lost if dingoes and hyenas couldn't be dodged. But they must go since hunger to be starved off. Food did arrive in the morning, but a bereaved mother could not eat a thing. Her precious child could not open her eyes and her beloved husband did not make it. She never felt hungry again in her life, never could enjoy food like before she did. Hundreds of mothers still can relate to this. It's still happening this to Jumas in Chittagong Hill Treks in Bangladesh. All playing a role around the world, nothing is happening to the Jummas at all. It has been unheard for a century, yet Jummas sweet homes have no security. They still need to run away far from home to be safe. Yet two leg fingers and hyenas all over the place. Jumma's land is still being grabbed 
is still having in gang rape. Two vulnerable Jumas girls in front of their fathers and brothers. How many more Jumas girls must take their lives to free themselves from the suffering of gang rape? A mother had to throw her departed child as she got to run to save other kids. This bereaved mother weep still couldn't touch anyone hot. No chance for grieving for the loved one who just breaded for the lust. Must move far from dangerous dingoes and hyenas. How many more mothers should throw their beloved child without any ritual? Why are you acting inhuman too, cruel and brutal? Can you not feel the torture of a helpless father-in-law was forced to witness the gang rape who was restrained with growth? Where are kindness? and pity and compassion why are chitigong hill tracks issues nobody's concern how is still the world is unaware of such about the mischief in chitigong hill tracks jummas already lost their identity as the indigenous taking it away by honor of Dingoes and Highness. Jumma's identity also almost extinct as a Jumma. They kept the game on without full stop and a coma. Jumma's well urgently needed to be heard, pleading for the urgent act of human right. Jumma's are being belittling as always for being non Bengali by taking away their rights and identities. They have rights, have rights to demand rights. Who are you to change their identity from indigenous to a group as a small without authority? Jumas possess culture, custom, law, language, and tradition. Why shouldn't they demand to be a Jumma nation?